Hello there, today I'm going to be reviewing the Mega Constructs Halo UNSC Jack Rabbit Blitz set with 91 pieces for ages 8 and up. Okay, so here is the finished Jack Rabbit. To get rid of Douglas, we can take a closer look at the Jack Rabbit itself. It's got two wheels at the front, one at the back, got a machine gun slash grenade launcher. I'm not sure whether it's meant to be both or just one of them, but it looks like the top part's a machine gun, the bottom part's a grenade launcher, in my eyes. It's got a little tiny bit of suspension, I'm not sure if that's um, meant to have suspension or not, but it does have a bit of suspension, a little tiny bit. Um, the top opens up, you've got some uh, handlebars in here, they're nice, they're using the um, uh, heavy machine gun handles, and then you've got this really big uh, chair, element UNSC insignia it's mostly made of new pieces or pieces de designed for the set alone such as the wheels the big chair the roll cage here even the windscreen you know they're all designed for the set there's a lot of you know specialized elements in this not a lot of regular pieces um, there's some interesting looking uh, technic elements at the bottom here well I say technic it's kind of technic. You've got what to me looks like a little pack thing here, so this would probably contain supplies or whatever. And then here we've got a couple of clips, so you can get um, a magnum, the set comes with two two magnums, nothing special, it's just the um, regular design of magnum. And what you can do is you can get the magnum, and then you can just clip it on to the jackrabbit like so. And then you've got two, and you get two magnums, so you can clip both on at the same time. And then, of course, sit Douglas right in here. And if you're good with you using your fingers, you can maneuver his hands to clip onto the two handlebars there. So I think it looks quite good for a, you know, 90p set. It looks quite nice. I'd say it looks better than what I was expecting it to look. So that's uh, good. Oh yes, there's a little, small little grey print on that slope element on the front of the set. Let's take a look at Douglas, shall we? Okay, here is Douglas. He's just sort of the standard Spartan armour for this uh, era. He's got a very nice little bird, in bird insignia right there. I'm not sure how well the camera can see it. He's got the 042 right there. That's actually a silver colour. That shoulders, same old, same old. His under armor is actually, and then of course he's wielding two magnums, both of them in black. That's Douglas. The other thing that I want to point out is my Douglas came with a free chest plate. I'm not sure if that's, uh, not sure if that happens with all Douglases, Dougli. You know, you could give a, a, a second Spartan level 042 insignia, or you could have it as a spare, just in case something goes wrong with your first one. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, continue on to the conclusion, shall we? Okay, so overall, I would recommend the set, although I would say that um, you wouldn't want to get it too expensive, because it sort of isn't really worth it, really. Um, Douglas looks nice, the Jackrabbit itself looks good, although I'd say sort of its purpose, purpose is sort of taken over by the Gungoose or even something like, even a Warthog, you know, if, or if you're doing doing something a bit, a bit less canon with the Halo universe, then the um, ATV Grand Recon could be a better option for you, but still, it's, it's, a, it's still a very nice looking set. Um, the other thing that I would say is um, there's not that much building that goes on, even for a small set. It doesn't feel like you're uh, assembling much. Um, I'd say the Banished Ghost is, feels like you're building something a bit more, even though it's got about the same part count. It still feels like you're doing a bit more building because the Jack Rabbit just doesn't have, you know, so many basic elements. It's a, It's got a lot more sort of prefabricated parts, as I've said before. Which is fine, but it just means that the build is a little bit... But other than that, I'd say it's a good option. And that about concludes the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Very cool.